Hi, Kinkas here. Welcome to the build video for the Tabor module by Jolin Lab in Italy. In their own words, the Tabor is a rhythmic analog sound and CV source based on the unpredictability of four avalanche transistors in a continuous oscillation state. These unpredictable core oscillators affect each other, and their charge and discharge cycles create complex rhythmic sound textures that can be controlled and triggered with external CV inputs for even more contamination. With this circuit, one can achieve rhythmic textures and different frequencies by mixing the colors of the LEDs and the capacitor values. The waveform of a single oscillator unfiltered is basically a sawtooth, but the result of the FM modulation of the whole sound engine is chaotic. Exciting stuff, let's build it! The through-hole Tabor kit includes all of the hardware and electronic components needed to complete the build. The packaging is very eco-friendly. Most of it is made of recycled paper. I like to start by organizing the parts on my work area, separating the components by type to make everything easy to find. You might want to download the interactive bill of materials as well. You'll find the link in their excellent online manual. You can click on any component designator and it shows you where it goes on the board and vice versa. Clicking on any component on the board shows you which one it is on the components list. Make sure to follow the manual. Starting with the Brains PCB, first I install the ceramic capacitors. These are not polarized. Next came the IC sockets. I used the panel PCB to hold them in place as I turned the board around. Then I soldered just two opposing corner pins for each socket to keep them steady and proceeded to solder the rest. Next came the diodes. They are mounted upright on the board with one lead bent down. Mind the polarity. The line on each diode must match the line on the PCB. The resistors also go in TP configuration, standing up. As I place each one, I bend the leads outward so the resistors don't fall off when I turn the board around to solder. Now let's solder them up and trim the leads. Install the two 2N9304 transistors. Now we can assemble the male headers. This time I use the panel to hold the headers in place when turning the board around. Solder a single pin for each header, then carefully realign them while reflowing the solder pin. Once they are perfectly perpendicular to the board, you can solder the rest of the terminals. Now let's install the two Schottky diodes and the ferrite beads. Again, mind the orientation of the diodes. The lines must match the ones on the PCB. The ferrite beads can go in any direction. We can now install the power socket. And start installing the VAT trolls. Make sure to line them up correctly. The shorter leg on the LED side goes in the hole with a square pad. Moving on to the electrolytic capacitors. These are polarized. Make sure to plug the negative side, which is the one with a shorter leg, to the white side of the drawing on the PCB. Now the chunky film capacitors. These are not polarized. Plug the ICs into their sockets. That's it for the brains board. Take a little breather before moving on to the panel PCB. Ok, let's start with the resistors. These also go on vertically. Make sure the body of the resistors go where there's a circle on the PCB to make sure no leads are touching each other. This time, I soldered the exposed leg of each resistor from the top. 
This way I didn't have to turn it around and bend out the leads to keep them from falling. I then turned the board around just once to solder the remaining resistor leads and trim off the excess. Now let's prep the BC337 transistors. To break off the middle leg I just spread the other two apart and use my finger to wiggle it back and forth until it broke. Do this to all five BC337s. Now let's plug them into the board. Make sure to align the D-shapes on the PCB with the transistor bodies. Solder them up. And now the LEDs. Remember, the shorter legs, which are the cathodes, the negative terminals, must go into the hose with square pads. There's a specific placement for the colors as well. Follow the manual closely here. Time for the panel components. Start plugging in pots without soldering them yet. Now let's install the female headers. For this I actually snapped them on to the male headers on the other board to make sure everything would fit. Then I soldered all of the terminals. Next I plugged in all of the jacks, again without soldering yet. Then I fitted on the panel, tightened the nuts. And proceeded to solder on all of the pots and jacks. Watch out, the panel is symmetrical, make sure you put it on the right side up. The same goes for the brain PCB. Make sure the power header is on the top part of the module, not the bottom, like I'm doing here. I repeat, don't do it how I did it. I ended up burning a Vactrol when I turned it on. Learn from my mistake. Check the power header for shorts and fit on the nice Rogan knobs and you're done. Plug it in and have fun. Stay tuned for the demo video for this module coming soon. I'm also making build and demo videos for the Agogo, also by Jolin Lab. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss anything. See you soon and stay noisy.